I'm Gillian Heyman, I'm a land, water and carbon consultant with Dairy Australia and Gipps Dairy. In Victoria, dairy is a very important regional commodity. We have 4,500 dairy farmers across Victoria with 1,400 of them in Gippsland. And the industry is worth over $2 billion annually with exports going overseas as well as domestic product. A lot of research has gone into understanding where greenhouse gas emissions come from on a dairy farm. And the bulk of the emissions come in the form of methane from the rumen of the cows. So really if we're going to make an impact, the biggest impact we can try and make into the future is around managing the methane. The future research is focusing on a few points. Genetic selection for feed conversion efficiency, genetic selection for low methane emitting cows, and vaccines to reduce methane production in the gut. Also, there's been a focus on on-farm energy use, where farmers have had access to energy audits on their farm, where they're able to really look at uh, where the energy is, is being used in the cow shed and uh, how they can put measures in place to reduce energy use, save them some dollars, but also reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Over the past three years, the dairy industry has invested heavily into a research project called Dairy Businesses for Future Climates. And what we're exploring in three parts of Australia is what farming systems there are currently, and then saying, how does that farming system, as it is now, stack up to a future climate out to 2040? Should they intensify or de-intensify, or perhaps adapt their system in a particular way to be best suited to the future climate? Climate change and climate variability has always been a problem that farmers have had to deal with. We see a great deal of seasonal variance from year to year. One year's wet, the next is dry. So that climate variability itself is something that farmers have always dealt with. And it's something that we know will the variability will increase in time given the climate change projections. So it's something that the dairy industry has chose to continue investment in. So if I could give one piece of advice to rural communities, it would be to continue to expect climate variability and extreme events. It really is about being on the front foot and being prepared and having the toolbox ready 